Hello everyone, I am Ramon with Ramon at Home and today I want to show you how to turn grocery store bought flowers into beautiful bouquets with simple steps. If you guys want to see how I did this, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Ramon at Home for future decorating ideas. When you subscribe, hit the notification bell and also follow me on my social media, the links are down below. Let's get started. Alright, let's get started. The first bouquet we're going to do is going to be a vessel bouquet or a container bouquet. So what I'm going to go ahead is I'm going to go ahead and add some water to this really pretty blue and white uh, container that I have. And I always try to include blue and white in my decor because there's a lot of blue and white around the house so that ties the look together. Now the first tip that I'm going to give you is you can always use this uh, silk greenery as your base and it all make your bouquet last longer so when you insert this greenery you want to make sure that you're doing a crisscross pattern inside the container and that will give it that round uh, cohesiveness to the bouquet so I'm gonna use about 10 stems of this um, faux flat cedar and as you guys can see this looks really realistic that's why we're going to um, to use it so if you can see it's all the way around now what I'm going to do is I have two silk hydrangeas and I'm going to use those also as well. The trick is when you're using silk and fresh is to um, use as, as little as you can of the silk and always put them towards the bottom. That way your bouquet, the fresh flowers on the top look very, very pretty. Alright, so this is the bouquet that I bought at my grocery store. It came like this on a cellophane paper. So I'm going, it comes really tight and I, op, I let, let them sit overnight so they open. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to start inserting. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my flowers. I'm going to start on the top right here. And then it comes with these really pretty carnations. Now if they come close you can always squish right here and then open them with your, with your fingers. So I'm going to go ahead and insert those as well over here and always 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 cut the tops or the I'm sorry the bar bottoms on a diagonal because that will let the uh, water go into the flower um, faster and then also in a few days I recommend you take these flowers out and recut them because that way the bacteria stops from growing uh, into the flower and don't be afraid to poke through that hydrangea there on the bottom. Give it a spin so you always know what you're doing and you always keep a balance into your bouquet. We're going to insert these lilies right here. And it comes with very few flowers, but I think that they do a good job of selecting the flowers that you need to have for your bouquet. We have a few more carnations. So I'm going to cut this guy right here. And I'm going to insert some right here because there's a lot of white going on. So you always want to keep an eye for balance with the color and everything. And then we're gonna add the last one over on this side. And just like that, you can put this bouquet, it comes with this baby's breath, and I really don't like it. You know, at the flower shop where I worked, it was a no-no, but I'm gonna go ahead and insert it just for a little bit of texture since it already came with my bouquet. So, but I'm gonna make sure that I poke it really far down. So that's what it looks like, you guys, uh, with a $10 bouquet of flowers from your grocery store, a pretty vessel, and uh, some folk greeneries, you can also make a really beautiful bouquet for uh, somewhere in your home. I am going to get the next one ready, and I'll show you what to do with the same flowers with a different container. Alright, for the second bouquet I have chosen this really pretty and I just took the lid off and added some pre-soaked uh, foam oasis foam that I also bought at that local grocery store. I started greening this bouquet with magnolia foliage and this is also silk. So that is like the biggest secret I can give you. If you use some silk um, greenery you can save yourself some money because you can have some clippings from your Christmas projects and look how pretty this looks just by adding some silk uh, realistic looking greenery. 
Of course you can also go out and cut some greenery from your bushes or you can actually buy at the local grocery store but for this project I thought I'd show you that you can use silk greenery with your fresh flowers from the grocery store. Then I have this really pretty nest and what I'm going to do, I'll show you what I did is I did a clip with some wire and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert that clip and what I'm going to do is push it into the foam so my nest stays put. Then my same silk hydrangeas that I had, I'm going to go ahead and add one over here, cut a corner and it's so easy to insert into that uh, foam and so far it looks really pretty, I'll show you guys all the way around. And that's where we're going to start inserting our fresh flowers. So I'm going to start with some really pretty daisy mums. And what I like to do, I'll show you what I like to do is I shall clip them all at once. And then I'll cut this guy right here. That will be our first one. So I'll put it up here. And then I'll use the other ones as fillers. As you can see, there's no rhyme or reason. I honestly think that uh, floral arranging is probably the, one of the easiest things there is to do um, because there's no rhyme or reason. Unless you are in a competition, then I'm sure you want it to be, you know, as always stunning. But if it is just for your home and entertaining, then there's no reason why. I'm going to do the same with this lily right here. I'm going to cut those um, stems first. I'm going to use the bigger one first and I'm going to go ahead and add that up here and then I'm going to add the ones that I clipped of course always cut the bottom I have a florist knife but you can also use scissors and I'm going to put one in the back and I'm going to add this little baby one right down here this foam is so easy to insert earlier this one fell off as I was working so I'm going to go ahead and cut it and then I'm going to poke it into the foam right here. So far so good, but I feel like our bouquet needs a little bit of a color. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of those red carnations. Once again, clip, it, clip them all first. And then always use your longest first. So I'm going to add that up here. And then I'm going to add a few. Like always start on the top and then take them down as you go as you keep working always start on the top and then take them down I'm gonna add one more little bushel and I cannot believe all these flowers were only ten dollars you guys I remember when I worked at a flower shop flowers are so expensive and all of these flowers are only just ten bucks and you can also make a bouquet of flowers like this with only ten dollars and a few um, bushels of silk um, greenery all right so we have two more and then also what I think would be really pretty with this bouquet is some pine cones and actually this bouquet came with some frosted pine cones so I'm gonna go ahead and add those they came like this on this stick so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go ahead and cut that stick with my wire cutters about that long and then I'm gonna go ahead and poke those into the foam like that I'll cut this a little bit shorter and then I'm going to put this guy prop back here and that gives it a really pretty Christmassy look what do you guys think? thumbs up if you like it I have one more I want to show you so let me get ready and I'll be right back with you Alright you guys, for this project we're going to use this really tiny crystal ball and I'm going to do the same process. I'm just going to go ahead and green it with uh, some faux greenery. On this occasion I'm using some of the flat cedar but I'm also using some of this really pretty um, cedar eucalyptus that I absolutely love. I think it's so Christmassy. So we're just going to make sure that it looks plenty of green in here and then we're going to start adding our flowers. That is, like I mentioned before, the biggest secret I can give you, do not be afraid to uh, mix those greens because we do it in the industry, so why not? Alright, so the first thing I'm going to add is some of these red carnations and at this point we're just using whatever we have left and trust me, we have left, I cannot believe $10 just 
buys you all of these flowers nowadays are so inexpensive so I think everybody should have fresh flowers in their home because they really do add that homey feel to our home so I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of these red carnations this is gonna be a sweet little bouquet you can use on your guest restroom you can use by your bedside table you can use in your kitchen you can use it on a side table in your living room they're just so versatile because they're so small so we're gonna add all of those and then we're gonna add some of these lilies that I hope they will open in the next few days to come that's another secret you guys when you buy lilies make sure that they are closed like this because they will last you longer like that one's really starting to open so I'm gonna go ahead and add this guy make sure you go all the way down to the water then I'm going to add the longest one at the end on this occasion because it's such a small container. Now, like I said, this, when they open, they will be so pretty. I'm going to add this guy right here. Like that. And then to make it a little bit more Christmassy, I'm going to add a few pine cones that I already pre-picked. These picks can be found at your local... Um, hobby stores that's why I get mine if you go into the flower department you can find all the supplies a florist can uh, use at a flower shop so we're gonna add some pine cones like this just three so that it's not overcrowded like that and then I'm gonna add the rest of this baby's breath because it's so um, fluffy that like I mentioned, I usually don't use baby's breath, but since it came with it, it's not something I would go out and buy. But since it came with it, why not use it, you guys? And this is the representation right here with the green and the white and the red and the brown of the pine cones. I think that's what makes it so Christmas. And it will look so pretty by my side table in my living room. Let me see, I want to put this guy right here. Like I mentioned to you before, there is no rhyme or reason, so do not be afraid. I'm going to take this pine cone down so I can insert this like that how pretty is that you guys I feel like it needs the last pine cone on the very top right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and insert that and push it all the way down these pine cones were also found outside in the trail where I run so there it is another beautiful tiny Christmas bouquet once you're done feel free to readjust like I feel like that needs to go in and this needs to go in so just play with it but with ten dollars worth of flowers and some silk greeneries you can also have a tiny little bouquet like this for your side table what do you guys think super easy and using a mixture of silk greenery and fresh flowers from the grocery store you can also have beautiful displays at your home I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to Ramona Home. And don't forget to follow me on my social media. The links are down below. Until next time, bye.